It's Fuck Yeah Friday. Fuck you. Yeah. Get ready for some wins. Welcome to the Be It Till You See It podcast, where we talk about taking messy action, knowing that perfect is boring. I'm Leslie Logan, Pilates instructor and fitness business coach. I've trained thousands of people around the world. And the number one thing I see stopping people from achieving anything is self-doubt. My friends, action brings clarity. And it's the antidote to fear. Each week, my guests will bring bold, executable, intrinsic, and targeted steps that you can use to put yourself first and be it till you see it. It's a practice, not a perfect. Let's get started. Hey, be it, babe. Happy Friday. Happy FYF. Happy day to celebrate some wins. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting us give you some inspiration of what some wins are. And I am hoping that these are helpful for you to see all the different things that can become a win in your day, right? So if you're new to the Be It Pod, welcome. We do interviews on Tuesday, recaps on Thursday, answer your question on Thursday. And also on Friday, we celebrate your wins. You send them in, we read yours, we read one of mine, and then we have a little mantra at the end. So this one is from Jamila. She's an agency member. And she says, I haven't posted in a while. So here are a few things I've accomplished and ticked off my endless to-da, not to-do list. Ready for this, guys? Here we go. Set prices for my plies classes high because I'm worth it. Set up acuity and have first client booked with Stripe payment working too. Ordered mirror for the studio. Taught my first duet to two teenagers. They were 15. Emailed the Women's Health Clinic to present my services and offered a partnership. Becoming known. Donated 30 coupons for winners at upcoming local swimming event. Got five people to sign up for the menopause and nutrition workshop I'm hosting. I'm totally into researching this topic of personal interest at the moment. Let myself cry and have a do nothing and eat carbs day because everything is effed. Overwhelming. <laughs> everything is effing overwhelming. Stayed on top of my German class and homework, planted some kale spinach in the garden, got three weightlifting sessions in this week, organized my daughter's birthday party, wrote a script for videos I'll be filming in a week, briefly marketed agency for an offer, converted four clients who bought a discounted membership via an online campaign to buy annual memberships, listened to Mel Robbins' book, The Five Second Rule, and I'm using it. I wrote to an old friend who's a lawyer and he's helping me convert my TNC and waiver etc. into Swiss law. Um, Jamila, thank you for like literally like putting all of these down on paper. I think so many of us wait to celebrate our wins until they're all at once. And then we're like, oh, should I celebrate all of them? It's like, yeah, you should. And I really do love to call it to doll list. Um, and it is an endless to doll list. And so same, I think we all need to doll list everywhere we go. So Jamila, thank you so much. You're doing incredible work. I know it's a lot. Um, you're doing it all on your own and you um, have recently moved and it's just a lot. So you're kicking fast. I love it. I have one more from another agency member. By the way, agency is our um, coaching company. We have an agency on demand so you can get office hours with us and um, on demand stuff. And so these are these wins coming from a lot of these members. Um, Christine Eschen. Oh my God, it's not even FYF yet, but I have to share. Had a newbie gone for two months. I just used a Phil Jones what to say format in a text. She responded a few minutes and bought a 10 pack and tipped me $160 and committed to two times a week. Abundance. Thank you, agency, LL and Brad. This is for the Be It Pot. Yes, it is. Oh my God, Christine, way to go. I love you guys. If you don't know what you meant by Phil Jones, there is a book about like selling from Phil Jones. And um, a lot of our agency members have been using it to help them with how to follow up with clients, how to check back in. And so way to go, Christine, for doing that. You are amazing. All right, a win of mine. We took another weekend off. You guys, we didn't need to. We could have because we're trying to stay home and and we did. But like we really did take this long holiday weekend off because the holiday was in the middle of the week and we spent some time with some friends and then the two of us just like staycationed a bit. And it was just really, really important that we did that. And I think like if you don't realize that taking a weekend off and doing just stuff like life is a win, then you really have to reset and reframe what's going on in your life because being an adult is a lot of work. And it is easy to just do one more thing on the email or just check one more thing or or get down on yourself for not doing anything at all. You know, it is a win. It is a win to get bored. It is a win to take time for yourself. Also, another win is that I'm about three to four weeks in this like pseudo elimination process. So I'm not doing a full elimination diet because that's not necessary. But as you know, I'm working with a company called Femgevity. 
And I do hope that you use my free consult call if you, if what I'm doing with them interests you. And they told me some of the stuff I'm sensitive to. And I've been wondering why I'm so bloated all the time. And I start off the day not. And so I've obviously it's something that's going on with my gut. And I have information about that coming up. I'll share with you later. But at any rate, I was having oat milk every day. Should not be having that. There's different fruits that I'm very sensitive to. There was different fishes. It doesn't mean that I can't ever have them because these are not true, true allergies, but they're sensitivities and I need to go off of them for six to eight weeks and then try to introduce them. And it is just very interesting to find new ways to have your coffee. So I have been asking for help, which is another win. So several wins for this week. And I'm really proud of myself. And by the way, asking for help is a win. Just pat yourself on the back because you're an overachiever if you're listening to this podcast. I know you. Hi. Hello. I see you. Anyways, you guys, um, thank you so much. Let me give you a mantra for your weekend uh, or today because you don't have to remember it all three days. It's a lot to ask. So here it is. Letting go creates space for opportunities to come. Letting go creates space for opportunities to come. Letting go creates space for opportunities to come. What can you let go of to create some space? Have an amazing day. And until next time, be it till you see it. That's all I got for this episode of the Be It Till You See It podcast. One thing that would help both myself and future listeners is for you to rate the show and leave a review and follow or subscribe for free wherever you listen to your podcast. Also, make sure to introduce yourself over at the Be It Pod on Instagram. I would love to know more about you. Share this episode with whoever you think needs to hear it. Help us and others be it till you see it. Have an awesome day. Be It Till You See It is a production of the Bloom Podcast Network. If you want to leave us a message or a question that we might read on another episode, you can text us at plus one three one zero nine zero five 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 three four or send a DM on Instagram at Be It Pod. It's written, filmed, and recorded by your hosts, Leslie Logan, and me, Brad Crowell. It is transcribed, produced, and edited by the epic team at Desenio.co. Our theme music is by Ali at Apex Production Music, and our branding by designer and artist, Gianfranco Chofi. Special thanks to Melissa Solomon for creating our visuals. Also to Angelina Herico for adding all of our content to our website. And finally, to Meredith Root for keeping us all on point and on time.